Alright guys, what is up? It is me, DeVeeble, Computes, and today we're back with another video. So guys, today, we will be answering the question, can we run Minecraft on a netbook? Which, if you watch the video link here, you already know the answer. But can we get over 1000 FPS on this netbook? Let's go ahead and find out. So first off guys, I know that you guys, you know, you love reading, you love sending me comments on my, my running Minecraft on a uh, blank. You always say that my, my frame rate numbers are all gotten because I'm running a small white window, which is technically Minecraft. So yeah, we're gonna be seeing how, how far we can get Minecraft to, you know, look decent and still, you know, run, run good. So yeah, no white windows today. Well, for right now at least. I will be trying that in the future, in um, uh, later, for you know the FPS world record on a crappy little netbook like this. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up. So this is multi MC. Okay, multi MC fully supports Windows XP, which is good. Okay, not only that, but multi MC is still you know relatively modern. Supports the even the latest version of Minecraft, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, this is one Minecraft 1.6.4 with Optifine. Now you might be wondering. Why 1.6.4? Why not 1.8.9? That's the best running one. Well, you see here, the problem is, is that this thing has OpenGL 1.3 support. 1.4, actually. So, yeah, no Minecraft version later than Minecraft 1.6.4 for us. Because Minecraft 1.7.2 likes to break. Alright, we are in. Alright, so first off, for our first test, we're going to be seeing how well this thing can just handle... You know the most modern version of Minecraft that I can that I can you know even launch. So this is low settings with native window mode, and yeah, as you can see here, everything is turned off. Okay, what does that say? Weather off is not active. Yes, we always want weather to be off. We have clouds off, fog off, details. Everything is off or fast. Stars? No, we don't want stars. Rain, snow, fast. Wait, is there an option for off? Oh, wait, what? Off? Um, okay. Show capes. Uh, we don't have any capes. Sun and moon off. Everything is set to off. Alright. Yeah, honestly, everything looks pretty much the minimum here. Smooth lowering level. No, we don't want to turn that off, man. Alright, we have gotten it. Alright, these are the settings that I just showed you. And yeah, as you can see here, we have Optifine, and that is it. So it's just Optifine. Uh, I don't know what this world is, but I'm, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and turn on cheats here. Well, let's go into creative mode. Because, you know, this is just a test. Alright. And is, so I'm playing with the mouse right now because this trackpad, which let me go ahead and show you. Oh. Alright, let's just. Yeah, as you can see here, this trackpad is pretty darn crap. My phone stand is not the best either, but it works. It does the job, okay? It does the job of making me not, you know, have to hold it constantly. This may take a while. Let's go ahead and fast forward. All right, we are in. Oh, we have, why did we spawn the most intensive biome for 1.6.4? The jungle, seriously? Why? Just why? Okay. But, ooh, 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 lag. Yeah, why do we have to spawn the jungle? The jungle is the most intensive biome in this version of the game. But then again, there's like five different biomes, so, you know, the chances are pretty high. Let's go ahead and, you know, create another world that isn't a jungle. All right, we are in, and this is not running that much better. It's running at about one two frames per second better. But I mean, let's go and wait for you know to it to load in the chunks here. Yeah, it's running a bit slow. Let's go ahead and fly. I think we don't have the frame rate to fly here. There you go. This is two chunk distance. This is actually farther than I thought two chunk distance was, because I mean we're seeing all the way out there. All right, but yeah, as you can see here, we're getting, this is um, uh, the frame rate counter, by the way. This is Fraps. Um, uh, we're getting about 10 FPS when loading in stuff, which, I mean, it's better than what I expected. I expected this to be running way worse. Let's, let's just load. Come on, please load in. It's still loading in chunks. Yeah, wait, wait, what? This is two chunks, though. Honestly, don't know how Minecraft does its whatever its, its math of two chunk distance, but yeah, as you can see here, this isn't really the most playable. Let's go ahead and say, for example, I start mining in creative mode for some reason. Uh, the frame rate is it's, it's it's increasing a little bit. We're up to what like? Okay, hang on a second here. Night vision. I need to get a night vision potion. Uh, night. 
I do not know how to spell because I'm not looking at the keyboard. Alright, there you go. We don't have Worst or Fulbright or any of the fancy stuff like that. So, yeah. Alright, we are getting 14 FPS. I saw 14 there. All right, but look here. This is this isn't the normal full screen. This is a normal mode. Let's say we want to. Oh yeah, I forgot. We should not touch the full screen button because that makes fraps kind of break, and then Minecraft just sort of breaks as well. So let's say you play in a small window. Okay, how many frames are you getting? This is very similar to the FPS we we're getting. Oh, we're getting 16 now. Oh, I just bumped the f the phone. Hey, we're getting 20. 20s ain't that bad. Alright. Yes, I mean this ain't this is this is still pretty bad, but I mean, you know, maybe in a pinch you could use it. So yeah, honestly, this is this is this is better than I expected, but still not great. So Minecraft 1. Point, what is this? Minecraft 1.6.4 with Optifine is not playable. Yeah, also the panorama is kind of broken. Alright, let's go ahead and try, like, survival Minecraft, you know, barely survival. Let's go into Minecraft Alpha 1.6.2a, mostly because it's kind of funny. Alright, let's wait for it to, you know, get the, you know, assets and stuff like that, but I'm going to be right back once it's finished loading. Alright, we are in. Holy crap, this is not running that much better. Come on, I thought this would run a little better. Oh, we're using high settings. Hang on a second here. I should probably render distance tiny, view bobbing off, graphics fast, difficulty easy, uh, music off, and I always gotta change this to E because I don't know how, you know, to do anything. Holy crap, this is, oh, oh, okay, okay, when you're not generating chunks, this is 30 plus. Or, okay, stand still. And... 30, 50, oh, 60 FPS almost, almost 60 at times. But yeah, I mean, this is this is a lot more playable than Minecraft 1.6.4. But then again, this is Minecraft Alpha, so I mean, not only that, but let me show you why I chose this version, okay? So I think F5 was added, yes. All right, let's just press F4. No, I do not want to go in, no! Oh, I, this keyboard's so small. Now it's, now it's got to do the saving stuff, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, close it before, you know, it tries to break itself by entering the nether. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, as you can see here, Minecraft Alpha is better, but not great. So, let's go ahead and say we want to do Minecraft Classic. Well, you see here, any, anyone playing Minecraft Classic knows that you should not use the default version of Minecraft Classic. Instead, you should use Classic Cube. Now look here, this is the same version of Minecraft as, that I used to get thousands of frames per second on that Dell Inspiron, which... That is only, that's actually similar speed to this crappy netbook. So uh, yeah, let's go and turn down everything here. Uh, eight, enter. Uh, let's see here, view distance eight, smooth laying off, laying mode, classic, shadows none, names, hovered, uh, FPS mode, limit none. Oh, we're getting 200 FPS. This is 60 plus for sure. Oh yeah, this this feels fast. I could game like this. <laughs> this is a high refresh rate experience right here in case if you know you you wanted to, you know, I don't know, do do something with this. You can if you wanted to, there's a VG port in here, you could plug in an external monitor and have a high refresh rate Minecraft classic experience. But you see here, this isn't really that optimized now, is it? Let's just make it so it's one, 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 one of everything. Fly grass, obviously. And let's just go ahead and fly up. All right, we're getting about 200 FPS. That's pretty decent, you know, pretty decent. But what happens if, I don't know, we um, uh, shrink the window here. This is where we get to the little tiny white box thing. And we're still, being still we're, we're gonna go as small as we can with, oh, okay, there you go. That's about as small as we can go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's over 1K right there, over 1K. Let's go ahead and get back down to the ground and go up, up, 2K, over, that's 2.2K. I saw 2.2K there for a second. 2.2, 2200 FPS, 2.2 thousand. That's pretty good. 
we're able to get 2000 FPS. And, and, we, and with the same white box on the Vista laptop, where you couldn't even get over 800. That just tells you how unoptimized Windows 11 is, because that's the only difference between these two. Oh, yep, I saw over 2.2K there. We definitely got to over 2.2K there. So look, you guys, I know what you're going to say, okay? Yeah, this dude's a loser. Why didn't he just go ahead and, you know, play the actual version of the game? Well, I literally just did, okay? I showed how, how you know, how playable each version of Minecraft would be, okay? Even with, like, you know, the bare minimums. Oh, I thought I saw 2.3. Please, 2.3. Okay, 2.2 is about the maximum we can get. Yeah, and looking up just decreases our frame rate. But yeah, honestly, that is really surprising and pretty darn decent, if you ask me. Oh yeah, I cannot see anything. Let's go ahead and generate, you know, like a normal level. So you see here, the norm the default classic cube level is kind of not really playable in my opinion, considering 64 height is literally unplayable. So let's just go ahead and do 256 by 120 by 256 level. All right, and we are getting, uh, it's, 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 it's all right. This is, okay, let's turn it, oh, that's 20 FPS. That's between 20 and 30. It's still playable, you know? I would I could, I could, would honestly prefer this over the small white box, but then again, on everyone would. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that's definitely, yeah, that's, that's classic cube right there. Yeah, so yeah, guys, what did we learn today's video? If you if you do use the maximum FPS settings, you can theoretically get 2.3K FPS, almost 2.3K FPS on the netbook. But unfortunately, if you're going to, like, if you want to play the latest version of the game, you cannot because no OpenGL support. But if you want to play the latest version of the game that this laptop can handle, be prepared to be playing with the lowest settings possible in a very special, well, honestly, Superfly is recommended, considering, you know, this doesn't have that much CPU horsepower. So, yeah, if you want to play 1.6.4, I'd highly recommend you just, you know, not. Or, you know, play in a Superfly world, because in normal world, we're getting barely, like, 20 FPS. I mean, I actually, you know, how about this, okay? If this video gets over 20 likes, I will go ahead and do the impossible. I will beat Minecraft on this thing, Okay. Since, you know, it can run the 1.6.4 thing, it can run 1.6.4, that means that it can run the Ender Dragon, theoretically. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and, um, uh, so yeah, guys. If this video gets above 20 likes, I will go ahead and beat Minecraft on this thing, okay? But yeah, guys, anyway, see you next video, okay? And also make sure to subscribe, because YouTube removed my subscribers, because they thought it were, they were bots for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, guys, anyway, see you next video, okay? Subscribe!